and I'm going to put these through a, through a couple of scenarios, right? Uh, let's animate this and uh, turn on the uh, various aspects of the chips and power them up when we're going and browsing the internet. So if you're browsing the internet, this is what you can expect to see, right? Uh, the way to decode these pictures, when they're bright, it means they're uh, actively consuming power. When they're not bright, they're not consuming power. So if you look at the mental platform, it's very bright. A lot of the blocks are bright. If you look at the Morsan platform, uh, uh, many of the blocks are bright, but they're not as bright as on the Menlo side. In fact, if you look at the R consumption on Morsan, it's roughly a little less than half uh, in, in comparison to Menlo. Now let's take a look at audio, right? That's something also that people would like to do. They'd like to be able to listen to music. So we look at audio here. In the audio environment, again, you can see the Menlo platform is quite brightly lit up. Uh, and the uh, uh, Morsan platform is, again, lit up, but not as brightly. And you can see by the, uh, the green bar, the power consumption on Morstown relative to Menlo. Quite a big difference there in terms of power consumption in uh, audio playback mode relative to uh, the Menlo platform. Now, the next thing, in order to be able to get long battery life, is also lower idle power, right? Uh, low idle power is, is extremely important. And when you have to combine low idle power with great performance, your average power gets better, right? Because the average power is the area under the curve. So actually having a great performing CPU, great performing chipset, and very low idle power actually gets you better battery life, right? So let's look at idle power here for a second um, from an animation standpoint. And again, you can see that the mental platform uh, gets lit up uh, much more brightly. More sun platforms almost not lit up at all. And you can see the power consumption, again represented by the bar, very low power consumption on the more sun platform. Now if we take this data, and uh, start to look at it from the standpoint of a graph and plot this on a graph, this is what you would kind of expect to see, right, on, on, on a graph, effectively. The, the, I'm showing you the standby power on Menlo relative to Morristown. I'm showing you the video playback. Um, yeah, I've substituted video instead of internet, right? So I'm showing you the video playback in 720p high def video here, uh, exactly what Janet requ requested. Uh, audio playback, uh, again you can see here, audio playback. I'm not showing you the exact numbers, because we're not going public with those numbers, but we are showing you the scale of change in the number set, so you can get a feel uh, for what uh, the capability here that the Morsecon platform brings to uh, 